to set up the VoiceThread app, you can go into your settings, find the VoiceThread app. You want to set it so that it is using the ED network. Under Custom Domain, you can type in DA Metal. If for some reason, when you try to log in to VoiceThread, it doesn't work, you can come back into Settings and press on the Reset, and that will allow you to um, re-enter some information and troubleshoot. So I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to go into my VoiceThread app. We use Shilbeth here. So once you've entered your school username and password, you'll press on Login. And depending upon um, how many people are trying to do it at one time, it um, may go real fast or it may take a while. So when you first log in, it will show you um, the VT Home, which will be any of the voice threads that you have made. Under the Account tab, it will show you um, the account information. And this is also where you sign out in the top left. If you press the green circle, the plus sign allows you to access something from your library or camera. And I'm just going to go to my photo stream and see what I can find. And here's a Shibboleth picture. You see I get a little um, blue check mark. I can add more pictures. It just depends. I'm just going to press done to add one picture. And now you'll see that I have no subject and edit. I want to add some information here. Never leave it with no title. So this is um, voice thread and the description is going to be how to log in and use. And then on the right hand side I can press done. I can always add more if I want. Now I come back to this screen, which is the um, actual screen in the voice thread, and I have the ability to play. Down below I have a sort of a speech bubble with a plus sign. This is how you add comments. I never recommend that you actually use um, the typing. I particularly think you should learn to use your voice or find your face with the video. So in this case, I'm going to do a simple audio. It gives me a countdown. And when it starts to record, you'll see that the red light is winking at you. Off to the right, you can choose a pencil, or a pen, I guess it is, and choose a color. When you're done recording, press the red button, and you'll see it's going to play it back for you. You won't be able to hear it right now. But on the right-hand bottom, you see the word save, and on the left, you see cancel. If you didn't like what you recorded, you simply press cancel. In this case, I want to show you how to delete, so we're going to press save. It takes a second, but soon your avatar will show up. And if you press play, it will actually play the comments for you, and you can see, you can, you, know, you can listen to whatever you've recorded. If for some reason you don't like it, you can double tap on your avatar, and then here we can see the edit, so you're going to press the edit the red circle and delete and done at which point you can record another one when you're finished it will um, upload to the uh, voice red server so you'll see that sort of over on the right hand side there's a share square with the arrow pointing up you can press the X to be done and what will happen then is back on your home screen it will show up in time it takes a second and um, that's how you do voice thread. I should tell you up here under um, some people call them the hot dogs the three lines you can choose things that are created by me shared with me bookmarked or if your teacher makes a group for you you can um, be part of that so that's one way to find really fast ones that um, you can narrow it down that's it happy voice threading